Hello, good morning. Where well, is this the morning? Anyway. Yeah, yeah. I good day <laughs> or good evening. Good morning. It's 11.21. 11.21. Okay. So, Gladys has just kindly picked me up. Today, we are going on a little tour. Yeah. We are actually going to Kilishi Factory. Yeah. So, I've not had Kilishi in a while. And obviously, when you're in Abuja, of course, you have to, you know, check out Kilishi. Mm -hmm. But today, we decided to go to the main place of Kilishi. Yeah, so Kilishi factory, not the one in area one. I heard there is one in area one. Yeah, that's are going to know. that's the one people know. You are going to day day, which is what now? So it's 34 <laughs> kilometers away from where I am, about 30 minutes drive, but yeah. it's quite 34 kilometers. So we're driving all the way there. So stay tuned and let's see if me, I'm seeing it for the first time. So is it, is it your first time there, sir? Factory, yeah. Okay, so for those of you who didn't see the video or who have not seen the video about this, the Suya one we did, Gladys was in that video. So make sure you check out that video and watch it. So this is Gladys. I didn't introduce her in this video. It might be that you are seeing her for the first time. So she's my friend here in Abuja and she's my tour guide on this trip. <laughs> okay. So we are going to the Kilishi um, joint today. So stay and watch this video to the end and let's experience the journey to day day and how the setting is and let's say Kilishi. Some of you may not know Kilishi is like what's the name in the in well, in the rest of the world, like in the UK, what they call it again or oh, is it I, I can't remember, my memory seems to be losing it. But it's is is um dried meats. Dried meats in maybe UK supermarkets that have it in bags. Is it built tongue? It's something like, there's something they call it. Yeah. Anyway, it's pieces of dried beef. Yeah. That has been dried and matured over time with spices as well. Eh? Yeah. I think it's bacon. This one is bacon. No, not bacon. Bacon is pork. Yeah. Then yeah. What is that one that is called the beef one? Well, I don't know. What yeah, it's there's. Is. Is. Um, I forgot, I don't know, I'm missing it. People watching this video, some, those, those, those in the UK we know for sure what I'm talking about. Exactly. Yeah. We shall know <laughs> I think it's, is it built tongue? Something like that. Anyway, so you have it at the side of supermarkets. Um, it's just pieces of meat that has been dried. But this one, I think that's the closest I can describe it. This one is not really like that. This one is a special one. This one is called Kilishi Special. It's so, ours. It's like our own. Yes, yes. I think it originated from the north. So, yeah, from what this yeah, kind of yeah. Yeah. Is it Fulani or Aosa? Honestly, I don't know. But don't know. most, I think it's Aosa, Sasha. I think it's yeah. Aosa because they are the ones that are always like doing it. Because I think Suya is Fulani, right? We'll Where's find that? out. When we get there, we'll ask okay. them. Okay, we'll ask them when we get there. Who is the original owner of this recipe that everybody is eating and transferring our food? Okay, so we're gonna get it. Um, I'll take some when I'm going back, when I'm leaving Abuja. So we're, we're, we're gonna check out this market. It's in day day livestock market. Yeah. So we'll go there and we'll check it out. So come along. We're right now on Sani Abacha Way. This na this road has been named after a former a former uh, military president of Nigeria, <laughs> a very famous. A very famous one. one <laughs> so yeah, so we're on the way now to day day uh, livestock market to check out the Ogakpata Pata area of Kilishi, a very popular. Will you, will you call it snack? I don't. I don't know. Well, it can it can pass for a snack. Okay, so a very popular beef snack here in Nigeria. They probably have it in maybe in northern like on top Nigeria, like all those chart. Um, the Sudan, all those areas as well, yeah. Because, yeah. So, anyway, we'll check it out. So, come along, I'll show you the journey there. Abuja has very good roads, so I was not expecting any traffic. So, let's use the opportunity, yeah, opportunity to take out some roads as well. Eh? People have gone to work, so. So, even if there was traffic, it's cleared already by now. Yeah. Usually, around this axis, there's no traffic. Where you see traffic is maybe around Maraba, Sileja, Kubwa Road. Okay. So, and we're heading towards that road. Uh -huh. But there won't be traffic because um, they are all at work. Maybe from okay. five, from five pm. Yeah, about five. So all, all the serious people have gone to work. Yeah, now, that's why we are now, now we not get work. <laughs> 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 On a Friday morning. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. So, no problem. So, come along, yeah? Oh, this one was. It's changed your shell, you're a new one. I want to use the fast um, road. The other one, you have to go all the way, like you're going to Apple and then switch. Okay. So, I'll take this place and just connect to far and far. That's why I told you I don't like using Google Maps because I know my way around these places. <laughs> Yeah, I was just having a chat earlier on before I started filming about using GPS. As for me, I use GPS for everywhere I'm going. Even if I'm walking, I use GPS. Even if I've been there before, I use GPS. Because it has many advantages. Maybe there's traffic, it will help you avoid it, all, all manner of stuff. But I know people like Gladys who don't <laughs> like to use GPS. Yeah, as long as I like put GPS, don't use it. Is there's no need. <laughs> I just put it permanently on, unless I'm going home and I know exactly my way home. But every other place I use GPS. So you are kind of old school minded then. Yeah. You are anti technology. It's, it's not even like, no, I'm not. I use it only when I need it. You see now, I know my way from here all the way to here. Well, you know, GPS could have given you a, a better way than oh, this one. Yeah, yeah, GPS than this one that you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go through this route and then we'll get there. For those in the UK, when I say GPS, obviously you know what GPS is, but we usually call it sat now. I think in America they call it more, they call it um, GPS more. In the UK we say sat now. Yeah. So off we go. One thing I'm noticing in Abuja compared to Lagos is the cars are a bit cleaner. In Lagos, about every car has a scratch, a dent, or something on it. But I'm noticing that. The cars are cleaner than the ones in Lagos. They don't have as much damage. At least since they I've been here now for roughly 10 hours, in my own small experience, that's what I've noticed. Lagos, about every car has a scratch right there. This is my so Okay, in, in there? Yeah. Okay. The thing is, when you're, when you're living somewhere as well, many times you don't know some of the some of the spots like that maybe people who are visiting might know because yeah. people who are visiting they may research yeah. check online take their time to find places mm -hmm. because they want to experience things yeah. but if you live in a place you kind of underrate the place you, you want to even travel somewhere else yeah your, your eye your eye is in somewhere else exactly not where you live exactly <laughs> because that lady that that you watched that showed one suya spot the suya spot is in my estate yeah. But me, I will not go there. You understand? <laughs> I've been yeah. there a couple of times. They have like nice suya yeah, and yeah. all that. But I don't break it like. Yeah. It's, yeah. And then when someone else films it, because it's, it's like, maybe oh. their first experience, they film, they kind of hype it. Yeah. And they make it look nice. But you, when you're yeah. walking past it every day, you don't I really mean, see. This is the estate, right? Yeah. The guy is just like a few blocks away <laughs> right now. At night he opens and all, and I see him like literally almost every other day. And you don't read him, you don't know it's an international spot. I've been eating that suya for how many years, <laughs> so I know the place. But when I see it online, I'm like, oh, is this guy? Yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> I'm still going to go elsewhere to go and look for <laughs> because I'm used to this guy. He's good actually. Yeah. You see, is really nice. I mean, it's like that. Where, where, where you live, they say. A prophet is bought without value at yeah. home. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like that. But sometimes it's good like to just do to be a tourist where you live. I try to do that um, in the UK as well once but it's quite difficult because like where you live, mainly you are working, you have many activities. So it's when people are on holidays, like they're less busy, that's what they came for. So they have time to do all these things. But if you live there, you rather do those things elsewhere. Guys, are you noticing the Abuja sun? So at the moment it's what let's see how many things. Yeah, 
So Abuja is 26 degrees. Mm. If it's, if it's, it's less than 30. Less than 30. Okay, it's not too bad. Oh, Dalaman is 36 degrees. Wow. Turkey. It saved on my phone because I was in Dalaman a few months ago. Lagos is 26. Wow, I can't believe Dalaman is 30. That's almost 40. Wow. Okay, what would you say about Abu Dhabi and Dubai? Those ones are steady, like, I mean, maybe like a compress right now. Wow. I'm not really fussed about Dubai, you know. I've never been so moved to go to Dubai. Because it, it just seems, it seems very plasticky. It seems very plasticky, like, <laughs> like too, too, too much man made. Too many skyscrapers. Yeah, like concrete. It's just, yeah, it just looks crazy. like. That's the problem with people. When you go to Dubai, mm. you forget about every other places. Um, UAE has like seven Emirates. I think Oman, Shada, Adman, um, Alin, uh, I think Oman, Kuwait. It's Bahrain in there. Abu Dhabi, and I forgot the last one. Okay. So they are like, they are seven. Abu Dhabi is the quiet one. Abu Dhabi is the quiet one. Dubai is the business of them. There's Alin, which is like mainly for locals. Like, you hardly find tourists in those places. And okay. then there is Sharjah. Sharjah is um, after Dubai. Okay. And the beautiful cities in those places are like Dubai and Abu Dhabi. Island, uh, I don't, Island is just there. It's like a typical regular. I can I can rate Island with um what's the name of this place? My Jama. Those okay. are how the structures are. The places you see a lot of skyscrapers are Dubai and Abu Dhabi. That's mm, okay. Yeah, but people don't go, tourists don't go to all those places. The only place they'll see is like Dubai and Abu Dhabi. I'm like, ah. But those other places, are they, are they interesting? Yeah. Are they, are no, they, are they attracting activity, tourists? The activity is there that, you know, could attract. But maybe, maybe they are not as well marketed. So. No, they are not. Everybody just wants to go to Dubai. Because that's where everybody because, sits. Yes. People don't even know about Abu Dhabi. They just feel like it's Dubai. If you just say you're living in Abu Dhabi, you're like, oh, Dubai. <laughs> I always say yes because I'm always tired of explaining. So, yeah, there are other places that you may find interesting. Yeah. And, oh, that has a lot of locals, that doesn't have a lot of um, tourists and all this, you know. You know, a city that has different, too many people, you may not really understand the culture compared to when you go to where these people are. The locals, yeah. yeah. One of these days, I'll go to Dubai anyway. Oh, try. But, but from videos and pictures, it just seems like a lot of yeah, a, a, a concrete jungle, <laughs> like lots of dead blob, 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 blob everywhere. The city is fine, That's and it's very hot. Also. It's yeah, it's fine, but it's fine in a in a very artificial. Way. Yeah, in my own view, like in an artificial way. I like it. I like things to be so more natural. So what would you say? Although I've seen videos about Japan. Oh, Japan is, is, so, is similar. So, what would you like? Exactly. So yeah, so I feel like those ones are even at one. Japan is similar, but they have a lot of culture still. Like, they maintain their culture. Yeah. Like, seriously. Okay. So, you will feel you that feel cultural like, yeah, something. Yeah. yeah. Dubai, there's no, you will not really see the culture in Dubai. Because Dubai, it's, Dubai it's, it's seems. With different people. Yeah, yeah it yeah, seems like Dubai is trying to be everybody. Yeah. They're trying to be American, they're trying to be UK, they're trying to be Paris, they're trying to be because everybody. They make a lot of money from tourism, so that's why they welcome everybody yeah. to come in and all that. But that, that's what they've chosen anyway. Yeah. They, they want you to come there, like to for it to be a one-stop shop. Exactly. And, so, and you feel like you visited the world yes. just by coming to Dubai. Yes. Yes. Because they have a replica of most things in France Everything. there, a replica yes. of the things in America, so that you just go there and everything. you feel like you've been everywhere else. You don't need to go to anywhere else again. Yeah. And then you can be in Dubai and just be stuck because you feel like you get too comfortable and you forget that yeah. there are other places in the world. Yeah. That's just it. But so that's the pro. The pro is that you can get there be the, the, the one stop shop. Yeah. But the con is that they lose the original identity. Exactly.
My head is very hot as well. It is. Uh, <laughs> the best time to visit is around maybe September, October, I think. Uh, those times, it's, the weather is always right. September, October? Yeah. Okay. I think. So the way in the UK they have heat everywhere. In Dubai they have AC everywhere. AC everywhere. AC like. In Nigeria we say AC tight. <laughs> <laughs> you need to have it like it's necessary. Otherwise, except you want, you want to just set yourself up, to just you know have it strong. <laughs> That's the truth. Yeah. If you live in Dubai or anywhere, any part of the UAE, I live is even hotter. If if um, Abu Dhabi is recording maybe. So guys, we are still on our way, yeah. on our way to Day Day Kirishi Factory. As you can see, there's a lot of should I call these mountains or hills? <laughs> it's like surrounding everywhere you go. <laughs> so that's a unique feature in Abuja. Is that a church? Yeah, I don't think it's. Is it? Are there building? There's a crucifix on top. So we're heading out, out, kind of outside of Abuja. Outside Abuja. Okay. So all this place, like this is Kubwa from here, like this Kubwa. And it's, it's not, so it's outskirts. Well, they or don't it's... like to call it outskirts. Okay. okay. No offense to people that live around. Here. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's still part of Abuja. It's Abuja. Okay. They call it Abuja because I mean people still call to the Abuja. So what are you saying? No offense. So is it factually Abuja or? It's just, yeah, emo it's it's just e they are just emotionally attached to Abuja. No, Kuba is part of Abuja. But Let me know how, how to is, offend Suleja or not to offend. Abuja is them. not part of Abuja. I think it's part of Nigeria State, but people always attach it to Abuja the same way they attach. But Mara is it under Abuja. Niger State? Yes, it is. So it cannot be Abuja. Yeah, but they always say they live in Abuja now. You say at So is that, is that like Aja, Aja people say they live in Lekki? Exactly. And uh, <laughs> some water. People say they live in Lekos, right? Yeah. Ekme. Uh -huh. So <laughs> mm. Yeah, people like that. Abuja is just like a, a huge construction site. I mean, it's like most like developing cities yeah. so there's a lot of buildings a lot. being built work in progress and it's mainly well I've not really been to residential areas like that like that so there's a lot of estates yeah. as I'm seeing yeah a lot of like housing estates What's the population like? Because it seems quite quiet. Like, is the, is the population like growing, growing, or is it being stagnant? Because all these houses, who 
Who will live in them if the people population is Because in, in, mo in most capital cities, a lot of the houses are empty, you know. The rich men just build a house. They don't, they don't know what to do with it. Uh, this is Kubwa. This is Kubwa, okay. This is so this will be a cheaper part than where we're coming from. It's cheap, but not as cheap not as cheap, you think cheap. it is. Okay. It's not that cheap. So because it, it easily connects the, the city. So eight minutes away, seven point five kilometers to go. Yeah. See the road is good, so you can just drive. Fiam. All these street lights, they don't work at night. Yeah. Very very Abuja doesn't have a governor. Oh, he does. Minister of FCT. Yeah. There's no Abuja governor. No, no. Okay, Minister no, of FCT. No. Okay, so the minister asks as governor. Yeah. So they kind of run it well, right? Because yeah, you know, any um, any Pangaran president will know. And exactly. many 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 big people will know because they are here. Yeah. And I'm sure it's heavily funded as well. Mm, that I don't know. It has to be now for them to deliver. You have to give them money. And plus, all these, all these um, people here, they pay their money, I think. So, the, oh, wow, there's a lot of housing estates. Like, I think this is Brick City. Brick City? Yeah. Okay. I think this is Brick City. You see the hills behind. Massive. Like, outright, outright buying. Okay, years. okay, pay like two million and then pay the rest. No, the total of jet was two million. Serious? I'm talking about like almost 15, 20 years ago. Oh, wow. No, so be, now I bet you can get it less than 150. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it's six minutes away. Well, oh, this is Motala Mohammed Road, something like that. Motala Mohammed Expressway. Okay. We started off Sunny Abacha Way, went into Yaradua, and now. It's calm, calm season now. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, it's different. This is day day now, yeah? Maybe this is part of it already, sir.
GB. <laughs> From good road to this. Since we've been on nice road, we've been enjoying it all from the city of Abuja. We are now into the outskirts. So, welcome to the trenches. <laughs> welcome to the trenches. I should be calling the suburbs. <laughs> okay, let's let's make it sound nice. Welcome to the suburbs. Uh, that's that's a you. That is a US thing, suburbs. <laughs> In UK, say askets. Askets. US is suburbs. Yeah. <laughs> In Nigeria, Niger Niger is what? Area is worry. In Nigeria. This is country, so. <laughs> you are here in the trenches. I think trenches is even a US lingo. Right? Um, yeah. In Nigeria, what, what do we call like the rough areas? Like, like Ajegun Lena. Ghetto. 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 Ghetto is also Ghetto USC. Is still, it's, not, it's not ours. Huh? Yeah, I'm trying to find the one that is more localized. But although we've kind of adopted ghetto, trenches, yeah. and those ones anyway. I'm trying to think of a more localized one. <laughs> hmm. So yeah, we're taking a different route, which added an extra you know, few minutes to our journey. We're turning right, the next right. Yeah, so hopefully this one gets us there. This road is better. Okay, I think we're here. So now we have to look for the TDC. Yeah. Look at that guy. <laughs> Remember this guy here? Which guy? This guy carrying this stuff. Are you sure it's not a different one? Are you sure it's not this guy? It may be him, it may not be I remember the grass, but yeah. I don't remember the person. What's the difference between ram and sheep? I don't know. But between ram and it's, sheep, like. Well, it's not male and female. Nah. nah so it's special. Yeah, okay. How does one tickle? Yes, I may call the price for you now. It will shock you now. Look. But this car, then. They look well, but they are smallish. Maybe it's a different special. They are kind of a bit. Not as big as one.
Let that as this guy. So I'm going to ask, I'll take up the camera myself in this time. Yeah, they say this is the place. <laughs> but because it's Friday, it's quiet. Because people are at the mall. So it will be in the night or tomorrow. That's okay, move it down. In the other okay, okay, we say catch it. So because now Friday, Friday, everybody go mosque. Yes, well, that is Friday. If na evening now or Saturday, here go busy. We know so the and they use all this place. All this where where are we? Where they put on it. All the kilishin are the same, the same spice or different different type there. No, different different type. Please. Different different type. That is the one way. Different get, taste. Yes, that is the one way get honey. Honey. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is the one way they get fish, but that is the one way. But I know one level sir. That is the one way they get fish. Gan Ghana pepper, see Ghana pepper, oh my sir. Ghana pepper. Mm -hmm. Double granite, Ghana pepper. And granite. Don't you got it? Are you serious? I got it. So after they cut them, they go dry them. Yeah, see where in the ground. After cutting, at this one, the second one. After cutting, drying. Drying, drying. Okay. After drying, it's not compound ingredients. They compound the ingredients. Can still dry them again. Yeah, still dry them. Then before, before the rest and for fire. You can't go fire yes, over there. Yes. Okay. Obviously quiet now, no fire at the moment. Okay, if there was they were resting at night we'll be here. So in the night fire go plenty for you. I think that's what he's saying. Because these guys are not around. So this is yeah. Yeah, we didn't even, I didn't even think about the mosque. I didn't think about it at all. Yeah, of course. My head was going to Yeah. Okay. I got you. Try well for me. Thank you very much. Yeah. I just hear about Kilishi. I said, make I come do small video. Maybe by, I don't know. I forget, say, today on Friday afternoon. That is why you never meet work. Yeah. As now, it's video. Go, go plant. But well, you see another one there, but not big, rich this one. And you said the area one, I hear they, they can't carry, go area yeah, one. one. I hear they, they walk. Ah. Yeah, really. you come. Here, so the whole Abuja. If you come tomorrow, if you come tomorrow, no, this is tomorrow. the headquarters of all Kilishi, the but they have, uh, we have branches. branches. Like, but the whole Abuja, uh, this is not the headquarters. Yeah, this is the headquarters. Ah. The production site, those other places, they, they sell. sell. Mm -hmm. But people, yeah, they buy for here. Want to sell. People, they buy for here. But here you sell like cheap, fast anywhere. Fast anywhere, okay. Because here in the airport now. Oh, please, you want to go back for it. I want 30,000. If you've gone here, 50,000, 10,000. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, they don't even have a grant. I even if you want to buy it. Except if you come back. I'll come back. I'll come back. If you come tomorrow or next tomorrow, you will see how they put you up like tomorrow. If you for the night, you come in, you will meet work here. Wow. So what do they chop kilishi with? On your own. Uh, on your own, or they so gari, or what do they all bread? Or they eating that only kilishi chop. Is it not? It's just like they're eating food. And kilishi no only beef, only cow meat. They know they use goat, and they use ram. No, some some people what they say they need kilishi chicken. Oh, chicken. Ah, okay. Never had chicken. What would that look like? What would it taste like? Kilishi chicken. <laughs> Alright, thank you very thank much. You. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so guys, we arrived at the Kilishi factory. They said this is the headquarter of Kilishi in the whole of Abuja. Let's start moving small small. This is the headquarter of Kilishi in the whole Abuja. This one is the wait, there's a back coming. This is the Oga Pata Pata of all Kilishi. 
there's even area one they come and buy from here so this is like the depot where they produce yeah. it's mainly for production okay. Okay. other places are mainly for sales yeah. i forgot to even answer that they actually produce in all these other places but no they don't they, they don't, don't. They only sales sell. yeah. okay okay so yeah this is a friday afternoon uh, friday yeah friday afternoon just after midday so obviously we miscalculated we forgot to put into consideration that it's a friday afternoon and this is oh, obviously yeah a muslim dominated area yeah. Yeah, and they are the ones that do they are the ones that do kilishi you know so they are obviously at the mosque or doing other things so any comments well you guys have seen for yourself that they we brought you guys all the way to the hq every other place is for just sales of kilishi here is where the main production happens so mm. We are done for today with the Kilishi thing. Maybe sometime in the future, we will come a day, on a day like on a Friday, because so that you can catch the action, like the real action of yeah. the whole thing. Yeah, so for today, we are done with Kilishi. Thank you, guys. So, guys, we're just leaving day day, uh, day day Kilishi factory and heading back into main Abuja, into town. Who knows, maybe another time I'll come here on a different day and actually show you those fires in action. You saw the fires there today, maybe another day you'll see the fires more alive. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.